will be exploring the energy cycle. This exploration will focus on four sources of energy, coal, natural gas, solar, and wind, and its destination like heating your stove or charging your device. First, let's take a look at one of CPS Energy's power plants. A power plant is the most essential stage for electrical energy generation. Energy cannot be created or destroyed, only changed from one form to another. Electric power is driven by moving electrons. For more power, we move more electrons. A power station can transform fossil fuels, nuclear reactions, or renewable energy into electricity. This power plant uses coal, which arrives by train. Click on the coal train to start the power plant. Power plants generate electricity using natural gas and coal. The energy in fossil fuels is organic matter derived from ancient plants and animals, condensed by heat and pressure over millions of years. Fossil fuels have high energy density and are stable, cheap, abundant, reliable, but unfortunately polluting. The whole world will still be dependent on them until the technology that can harvest renewable energy sources at the same rate without affecting the environment is adopted. That process could take decades. Let's explore how the power station works. The power plant needs to burn its fuel for heat. This combustion happens in an enormous 250 foot tall boiler. The result of this process comes out of the stack. Inside the boiler is ultra pure demineralized water with no imperfections. It gets turned into steam by the burning and the steam heat turns into mechanical energy by making a turbine spin. Rotating magnets attached through a motor finally create an electrical current that leads to a substation for transmission. As it goes through the turbine, the pure water steam loses energy, temperature, and pressure. The pure water is then collected through metal pipes. Cold lake water surrounding these pipes cools the pure water steam. The steam then condenses into water, which is fed back into the closed loop. The pure water acts like the blood in your body. Instead of oxygen, it carries heat energy. The plume is a result of environmental cleanup. Natural gas creates a cleaner burn than coal, which has four byproducts, bottom ash, fly ash, nitrous oxide, and sulfur dioxide. Bottom ash is visible. Both bottom and fly ash get recycled into the asphalt and road base used in San Antonio streets. Fly ash is light and fluffy and is recycled into an additive for hardening concrete used in San Antonio buildings. Nitrous oxide is invisible and injected with a chemical reaction to lower polluting emissions. The fourth byproduct, sulfur dioxide, is known for creating acid rain. To remove 95% of it, we mix powdered calcium carbonate, which is limestone, and water into a slurry. The slurry is added to the acid byproduct. This is a common chemical reaction. Acid added to a base creates salt and water. The salt, calcium sulfate or gypsum, is recycled into sheetrock, also used in San Antonio buildings. Coal plants in San Antonio are massive recyclers. The majority of equipment of the main power plant site is used for recycling. The rest is dedicated to generating electricity. Find and click the solar panel. Solar panel farms are in central Texas. They transform energy from the sun into electricity using something called the photovoltaic effect. Solar panels are photovoltaic systems made of solar cells. The cells use photons from sunlight to hold an electric current. This electrifying event is called the photovoltaic effect. To connect solar panels to the grid, we use a direct to alternating current inverter. 7.4% of San Antonio gets its power from solar farms. The harvested energy is transformed to a higher voltage in the transformer and sent as far as hundreds of miles to be used by you. Find and click on the wind turbine. Wind farms are also scattered across Texas. Wind is created by the uneven heating of the Earth's surface. Wind speed, air density, and blade radius are the factors of energy output of a wind turbine. Steady winds are more efficient than high winds, even though higher winds create higher power. 
Wind turbines only work within a certain range of wind speed. 14.5% of San Antonio gets its energy from wind power. Like the solar panels, wind turbines send harvested energy to a transformer to prepare it for the long journey ahead. Click on the Step Up substation. Electric power from the power generating station, coal, natural gas, wind, or solar, flows to the substation. The substation is where the power is transformed to the correct voltage for transmission. The great thing about AC, alternating current electricity, is that the voltage can be stepped up or down. This is similar to a high-speed train going maximum speed between cities, then slowing down to pick up and drop off passengers. The voltage is stepped way up to pipeline it through the transmission system, then the voltage is stepped down to safe levels for businesses and residences. Click on a transmission tower. Transmission wires act like a road for electricity, guiding it to your home or business. Transmission conductors are copper or aluminum. Wires sag and tighten depending on the load, current, and voltage running through them. Click on the step down substation. Step down substations reduce the high voltage power from the transmission system down to the lower voltage that is safe to run on overhead or underground power lines through the community. The electricity on the utility poles is much higher than we use in a business or residence. Distribution lines are where the electricity is delivered for industrial, commercial, or residential customers. Click on the highlighted tree. When a live wire is down, a switch is flipped to cut off the electricity to make it safe. You should never touch or go near downed power lines. Live wires are extremely dangerous. You should treat all wires as if they are live and have electricity flowing through them. If you see a power line down or damaged, stay away and notify CPS Energy immediately. When trees or other events cause down power lines, our trained crews will safely repair the damage and restore power. Click on the electrical pole with the transformer on it. Step down transformers reduce the voltage so it can safely travel through smaller distribution lines to commercial and residential districts. The electricity goes through one final transformer to reduce the voltage before it goes to your home or business. It is then passed through a meter to measure how much energy is being used. This is how CPS Energy knows how much to charge on a bill. The meter can also detect outages. The lights turn on, the stove heats up, and you can charge your devices because the electricity is releasing the energy it carries. Thank you for participating in Electrifying San Antonio. Powered by CPS Energy.